Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today we're going to be making banana bread. Not just any banana bread, we're going to be making approximately 15 loaves of banana bread with my new bestie, this mixer right here. Now, quite a few of you have seen the mixer in the background and you've said, hey, tell us about the mixer. So I'm going to include that information too while I'm whipping up a bunch of banana bread. Banana bread is simple, it's easy, and when you've got a bunch of bananas that are you know, at that point, perfect for banana bread. Instead of taking up room in the freezer, I'm gonna turn them into bread. I may freeze a little bit, probably not. Um, probably a loaf will be for Phil, and then he'll take the rest of them to town and sell them, because that's what Phil does. So we're gonna make a little money, and we're gonna have a little bit of fun. And on this cold day, where we're supposed to get another five inches of snow, it's the perfect day for turning on the oven and making some banana bread. So let's get started. A few months back, my KitchenAid decided to kick the bucket for the last time. Yes, and I have nothing against KitchenAid at all. Um, it did well for me for many, many years, but it wasn't practical in the fact that I typically do bake much larger quantities. So when I went shopping, I decided, okay, I don't think I can afford a Hobart, which Truly, truly, a 20-quart Hobart would make me exceedingly happy, but this is a 15-quart commercial mixer, and Phil had heard of this company and said, hey, check them out, so I went on and checked them out. I've been a return customer a few times now, um, but the mixer is kind of what sold me on it. This is a commercial mixer. It is a no-frills mixer, right? Um, so I'm going to walk you through some of the stuff that it does. First, it's got a really great bowl, holds up beautifully. I throw this bad boy in the dishwasher, okay? It comes with the dough hook, which I tend to leave in there more often than not. It also has the whip and the paddle. And so we're gonna be using the paddle, I believe today, for uh, the banana bread. Now, it does have some safety features. If you move that screen off, it automatically turns the entire thing off, okay? And it is a manual. Let me bring you up here. Okay, it has a manual crank for lowering and raising the bowl, okay? So you have to have that in place, you have to have the screen before you turn it on. Now it has three um, settings on it, and what we have discovered, <laughs> okay, is that the one that shows the dough hook, because it has pictures instead of words. So the one that has the dough hook is actually low. And then the paddle is more like a medium and the whip is high, okay? And then this is the power button, right? But the power button will not work unless that is popped out. So the cool part is, is if you are doing something that's popped out and it's, it's on, it's doing its thing. If you move the grate, it turns off. And all you have to do is move it back and press the power button again. You don't have to mess with the red button twice, which is kind of nice. It also has these levers right here, okay? So let's bring her back down. Open her up, okay, to take the bowl. So it locks the bowl into place, and there's actually a little hole right there that that little thing goes into. Um, and it takes a little practice getting it lined up, but once you're there, super simple, and you're ready to rock and roll. I'll put a link down below um, for the, the mixer, but this is, I mean, obviously not meant for every single household. It's obviously not meant for every single household, but it is, it is very handy for ours. I did purchase a smaller mixer. They had a sale, so it was like 75 bucks, um, for the one-off times that, you know, I make a loaf of bread, um, because this is not necessarily practical for a loaf of bread. But for the most part, when I make bread, I am making multiple loaves at the same time. Since we bought the mixer, um, I've been impressed with it. Where is it made? Don't have a clue. Don't have a clue. I do not believe it's in the U.S. though. Okay, so if that's a big factor for you, don't preach to me. Um, it's just the way that it is. The price was definitely right compared to a Hobart. And I think it's going to last me just as long as a Hobart would. We've had 
no issues with this at all and I have tried my best to beat the snot out of it seriously um, since then we've been impressed enough with different products that they've sold uh, that we've been a repeat customer so they have a mishmash of stuff um, a lot of tools a lot of you know mechanical equipment um, gardening Oh my gosh, I got a great deal on two very large raised beds that are the steel ones. Um, those are sitting in the garage right now waiting for that white stuff outside to go away. And then I'll be putting those together and bringing you guys along for that. Um, they've got a lot of different gardening stuff. They've got a lot of different uh, commercial kitchen stuff in there. And I've, I've been happy. I've been happy with what I have purchased so far and what I have used because... I am not easy on my equipment. I don't even pretend to be easy on my equipment. So if I'm going to spend, I think this was, I want to say $500, $570, something like that, um, for this mixer. So that's an investment. But when you're looking at a commercial piece of equipment, it's not bad at all. It's actually really good. Okay, we are going to get started now on the Nano Bread for 15 you know eggs are at a premium right now, right? I have this little handy thing that I printed out. And then I promptly put it on my counters that I oiled. But um, eggs are at a premium right now. So this is kind of high on the egg count. Uh, 10 eggs, 15 bananas, 2 and a half cups of oil. You can replace that with butter if you so choose. But again, because of the cost, I don't. I put the oil in it. Uh, 4 cups of white sugar. One and a quarter teaspoons of salt, five teaspoons of baking soda, and ten cups of flour. I will have this printable available down below in the description box for free. Click and print. Um, and it's after that, it's pretty simple. It's banana bread. So we're actually going to add chocolate chips to this also because Phil's friends love chocolate chips. Yeah. So we're going to add chocolate chips to this also. But again, that'll be down below. I'll add the chocolate chips to it for you to be able to check out. So I'm going to change out my dough hook for the paddle. Okay, super simple to put on. Put on, twist, and you're there. Let me get all these ingredients together. First, we're going to tackle the nanners. Yes, we are. You'll hear, you might hear the wind chimes uh, in the background because the wind is starting to pick up. I heard not far away from us, they are actually experiencing thunder snow, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it is starting to snow here again, and it'll be interesting. So, good day for Nanner Bread, and I just talked to a friend of mine, so I'm going to have Phil drop him off a loaf tomorrow as a little pick-me-up. Oh my gosh, you guys. Aging. Aging is not for sissies. Definitely not. See, so you see how beautiful that banana is, even though the skin looks like that? Okay, don't, don't waste bananas. And if you can get those ones that have the red band on them, get them, because they are still perfectly good. Yes, they are. Whoop, flying nanners. Okay, Toby, get out of the, Toby, get away from the banana. Get away from the banana. Okay. So, this is probably going to be more than enough. How many have I put in? Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so they're not all going in, and Toby's checking out the tripod. So this is going to be a nice loaf, but if you get them where they're starting to turn brown, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, because that's when all that really great sugar is going on, right? Okay. Mm, has my mouth watering. Good, good stuff, and pretty soon... The house is going to smell amazing, which reminds me, you want to preheat, okay, only one from here, and then it goes over here with the one that I dropped. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, okay? Because <clears throat> you want to get it all nice and toasty warm before you put all your pans in there. 
Now I have the one pound loaf pans, and that is what we're going to be making these in. Um, comes out just the right size. It's a little bit smaller than your uh, normal home loaf pan, you know, but not by much. And it's not those teeny tiny ones. Nobody needs those teeny tiny ones. Okay. I don't know if you're looking at portion control, those little teeny tiny ones are good unless you sit down and eat them all in one sitting. And um, I have, I have no experience at that. Really, I don't. Okay, let me bring you closer. Well, now that's a view, huh? So first, I'm going to <clears throat> mash up the nanners before I do anything else. Okay. So I've got that set at the low speed. That's pulled out. That's how she sounds. Mm, that smells so good. This is what I was talking about. See how quickly it turns off? Which makes it kind of nice. Okay. So now we're going to add in the four cups of sugar on top of the bananas. Remember, this is making almost 15 loaves, I think. Okay. And then I'm going to put in the oil. Now, you can use butter if you want to. No harm, no foul. And I'm going to put in the eggs. Okay. Now, I'm going to close her back up. We're going to let that all mix together and I'm going to get the salt and the baking soda because I keep the baking soda in a half gallon jar right next to it so that's easy peasy. Okay, so we're going to do this again. So it's five teaspoons of baking soda. Baking soda. Three. Four and five. And then one and a half teaspoons of salt. Okay, so we've got one and a half. And we're going to turn that back on and keep mixing.
now we're going to add the flour. So this takes 10 cups of flour. Okay. And I have a two cup measuring scoop here, so that makes it a little bit easier. It is now coming down like crazy outside. And the dogs are playing, thinking that it's a field day. Okay, that's four. And five. Okay, it's a nice batter. I'm putting two, I think they're 12 ounce bags of chocolate chips. And I'm mixing that in. Yep, I think they're 12 ounce bags. Pretty sure, anyway. Um, yeah, 12 ounce bags of the semi-sweet chocolate to mix in there with it. That's going to be some good bread. Since I've been making uh, large quantities of bread, I have found it significantly easier to purchase the sheets of parchment paper as opposed to the rolls. And then I just go through... I cut them in half and I go through and put them in and this makes getting the bread out so much easier and I will reuse these uh, tins quite a few times so it's totally worth uh, the money there when you're doing mass quantity like this okay because next comes the fun part when we fill all of them I can fit how many can I fit I think it's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, probably 12, I think, in my oven at a time. Um, and so we'll see how that goes. And then I might make, I might, anything extra, I will just put to the, I'll put on the sides somehow. Because I set these on a cookie sheet um, to keep them stabilized, easier to put in and out and all that fun stuff. Okay, so this is what we'll start with. I wanted to show you, okay? So when you're ready, you crank this down. And to avoid mess, I take the paddle off now, unlatch those, and lift. And here we are. We are ready to rock and roll. Now my handy dandy trusty canning scoop will help fill these okay so we are just going to scoop in and scoop out into the pan I find it normally takes about two scoops worth to fill the pan about halfway okay there we go and then I just take them out and place them on a cookie sheet Easy peasy. And the dog is going to eat for you. So, sorry about that. Okay, let me get these all filled up. Mm -mm -mm. I'll be back. Okay, so each cookie sheet holds six. So I'm going to fill up the other cookie sheet and then we'll get them in the oven. I'm not quite sure why I had 15 in my head, um, because this is normal, well, be probably because this is half of what I used to normally make. So this will actually make probably 10 loaves. That's okay. That's okay. Because 10 loaves is better than none, right? Right. It's banana bread. Hello. Okay, so we're going to get the rest of these out of the way because now it starts getting a little messy. Now we're going to scrape down the side a bit. There we go. The oven's definitely heating up now because the fan just came on. <laughs> Gosh. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so we're going to scoop this out. And... 
fill up this last loaf pan. That'll give us 10 loaves of banana chocolate chip bread. Good, good stuff. Now, Toby, get out of here. Puppies are not easy, but they're fun. But they're not, but they are, but they're not. Yes, I'm talking to you. Okay. There we go. So we're going to scoop out that last little bit there. And we're going to go over to the oven. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nice. Okay, the oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to adjust And those ones on the top, and these ones on the bottom. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to set my timer, and we'll be back. Okay, it's been an hour. These go in for an hour. I'm not sure that I mentioned that before. Okay, back up. Come on. And now we're going to pull out both trays. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, look at those, Phil. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, the ones on the bottom, oh, I'm going to leave the ones on the bottom in for just another, I don't know, maybe five minutes. They didn't get as brown on top. Let me show you this here. They didn't get as brown on top, um, so they just need to brown up for another minute. So now we will take these. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Okay, Phil's gonna do his fantabulous taste test of some very warm banana chocolate chip bread. <laughs> okay. Passes muster. Mm, okay. Okay, because the rest of it is being given away or sold. Or whatever it's leaving you're not you don't get all ten loaves no <laughs> okay we're gonna pull out the second tray Hot. oh yes there we go beautifulous it is okay there is our banana bread 10 beautiful loaves. We're going to get these all pulled out, let them cool off completely, package them up, and send them on their way. I hope that you guys enjoy the introduction to my little friend over there, the Vivor Mixer. There's a link down below. Remember, there's a link with this recipe for making 10 loaves of banana bread, if you are so inclined to do so. And until next time, everybody, please be safe. <laughs>